true. Well, I feel as though I've uh, gone back in time. Well, Mr. Franklin, good yes. to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Ben Franklin, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Franklin. Good morning, Patrick. <laughs> glad to have you aboard with us. I'm I'm glad that uh maybe you've been paying attention to these for 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 a while. Isn't this something? Wow. It is amazing, Frank, how uh well you did it. How many for how many years have you done uh Ben Franklin? Oh uh, probably fifteen. I I d I'm I'm not sure at this point. Uh, yeah, it's, lovely. it's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I know one thing, you are well-versed in Ben Franklin. Um, any question anybody has about Ben Franklin and what he did or had done, it, Frank's the guy to ask. That's fantastic. So, well, Frank, it's like, or Ben, I don't know what to call you. I don't have, I just, you're just sitting there smiling. It's like, okay, Patrick, why don't you just start talking? <laughs> and do, then, so that's what I'll do. So uh, in the in. And and still in light of uh, the theme for the last few days in regards to Helene and 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 the crisis in the Middle East and this this what what's happening and I've been really concerned lately, Mister Franklin, about people losing hope and uh, and and, and I. I First off, like I always say, I cannot imagine what they're going through, but I can imagine that you could lose hope when you've lost it all and you just don't know what to do. But in so as I was asking God this morning, please, God, what do you want me to say? And he. I opened <laughs> I I do love how he operates, Frank. I just opened the Bible and I opened up to Psalm, and then so I was looking through the Psalm and and and, and I got to Psalm sixty two. Not I didn't start at Psalm one. I actually opened up and 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 to where Psalm sixty two is, and uh, starting at Psalm sixty two verse five. It says, for God alone, my soul waits in silence and quietly submits to you. For my hope is in you, God. You are our only rock in salvation, our fortress and our defense. We will not be shaken or discouraged. Oh God, my salvation and my glory rest. As you, my rock of unyielding strength and my refuge, we trust confidently in you at all times, and we pour out our heart before you. God is our refuge. So, Frank, that Ben, Fra Ben, Fra Ben, <laughs> Frank, Lynn. Ben Frank. You could just well, say Franklin instead of Frank. Maybe. Okay, Frank. <laughs> anyway, or Franklin. Dr. That, Franklin. <laughs> that is, that is, uh, that is, I'm just thanking you, God, for this and those that needed it it's in Psalm 62. And I started at five, but God alone is our refuge, He is our rock our salvation. He is there. And I want that for those. Actually, Frank, it's, it is for everyone. Yes. This is everyone needs this because we're all going to have our, our trials. We're certainly uh, most of us won't have to, and hopefully won't have to go through a, a Helene or <clears throat> Or 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 live through a uh, being bombed, um, you know, on a daily basis. But boy, God is our He is our refuge, Frank. I I I just uh, what does Franklin have to uh, to say to that? As the 
as, as I said, when we were preparing the Declaration of Independence, perhaps we should consult the Creator in entering on any substantial uh, project and ask for a blessing. And God is our refuge. God is our source. And those of you that uh, know a little bit about Franklin may know that uh, he did not espouse the Christianity of the time. Uh, many, many people think he might have been an atheist, but he was not an atheist. He was a deist. He believed in God, and he believed that Jesus was probably the best person that ever lived. So he, he was on his journey of faith, and he was a man of faith, and he called for prayer in and, and the creation of, of the United States. And if we look at the situation today and compare it to, to the time of, of the revolution, there were miracles during that revolution. The providential history of the, the American Revolution uh, calls many of them to mind. And beyond the revolution, uh, uh, there there have been miracles showing um, evidence of God's favor. When Washington was in New York, he he was trapped by the British forces. Uh, he was you know he had no escape. He he had uh, uh, the seawater. He had the British Navy to contend with. A great fog rolled in, and the British waited until the next day to come and capture him and his army. Oh. And when the fog rolled in, he rolled out. They they uh, they rode out and uh, uh, and escaped the British trap. and And the British commander said, "I fear that we've lost." For God is with it, the uh, and uh, during uh, the War of eighteen twelve, uh, the British, when they uh, invaded Washington, lost more troops to a great storm that occurred than than they lost to uh, the United States. the The weather took out the British. There, and and there's all there's many many things like that that indicate uh, some sort of active per participation by the divine. If we look at the situation today, a great deal has been lost. Yes, yeah. lives have been lost, property has been lost, but that was preceded to a great extent by a loss in, in faith and in uh, seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Our country is off the hook, <laughs> uh, which is not exactly a Franklin phrase, but if he was here and, and, and uh, uh, using modern slang, I think he would probably say our country is off the hook. He didn't invent, yeah. the, he didn't invent the telephone where the hook came, came right. in, yeah. but he did invent electricity. Uh, actually, he didn't invent it. He just uh, proved what it was. But nevertheless, if we as a nation take today as are the first day of the rest of our lives, we would do well to do as Franklin suggested at, at the at, during the time of the revolution. We would do well to seek the uh, 
help and the guidance and the blessing of our creator. Amen. I think that uh, if, if I were president, I would call for a national day of prayer. I think we need to get our hearts right. Uh, and I think we need to start loving and trusting each other and working together and being a, a good neighbor in the world. Uh, so uh, so that's, that's what I think uh, needs to be done. I think we need to pray. I think we need to, we need to learn how to love our neighbor and we need how we need to learn how to love our enemy. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's for sure, Franklin. I mean, and when, uh, and with, I just, and when you're praying, I just don't want anyone to lose hope. Hope. Don't lose hope. All things, all things are in the hands of God. And yes, but you know, through prayer. Yes, and our and our ability to communicate with God, we ask for it. Well, we uh, we 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 are not the president, no. uh, but we can uh, pray right now, right here, no. for the rest. That that today is is the day that we turn our hearts over to God. And dedicate ourselves and our lives to his service. Yeah. And so let's do that. Lord, mighty creator, holy, holy one, we come to you uh, with chastened hearts, having seen uh, the devastation that is possible in the natural world. But we know that you're above the national world as well as in it and around all of our lives. We know that our lives are subject to your will. So we know that you are the source of everything. Every bird that sings, every fish that swims, every tree that grows, Everything, Lord, is within your creation and creating. So we place ourselves, we see ourselves as within your will. And we bow to you, to, to you and in respect and love and trust. And we ask the intervention of your Holy Spirit to guide our hearts. Let us learn more about you. Let us seek your will. Let us seek the kingdom. And let us live in the kingdom every day for the rest of our lives. And may our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren do so as well. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah, your gift of prayer. So well received. Thank you, Frank, for that. Well, it's uh, the weather here is certainly beautiful, and the sun is shining, and we just give give praise to God for this day, for starting starting this day. I think Sue is now wanting to be on TV every morning. Oh, just to see my brother. <laughs> I want to see my brother. That's not your brother. That's Franklin. That's Ben That's Franklin. Ben Look Franklin. at he looks like Ben this morning. <laughs> yeah. Good Love morning, you. Sue. Said she loves you. Well, I certainly love her. And I love you too, Frank. And let this day be filled with with the hope of our Savior. God be with us, everyone. Amen. Love you, brother.